Hey, 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 hey. Don't think you can just walk by my door without coming in to say hi. Come here. How have you been? Haven't seen you in a couple of years. What are you doing here anyway? Just came by to pick up a game you gave to my brother. Oh, that means you're gonna leave. I want to know how you've been doing. How's college life been? Yes, I want to know. Come on, lie down with me and tell me about it. It'll be just like old times. Just like when you and my brother would stay off watching scary movies, which me and mom told you many times not to watch. Then you'd come to me and beg to sleep with me. Don't be shy. I don't bite. Much. There you go. Nuzzle yourself into me. You know, you've gotten taller. Not much, but a little. I can still just barely rest my chin on your head like this. Oh. Is Katie upset about being smaller than me? Oh yes, your nickname is still Kitty, even after all these years. Age doesn't change how well it suits you. Anyway, tell me about how uni's going. Have you met any cute girls? I'm sure they can't keep their hands off of you. You haven't found anyone. No one's approached you. That's such a shame. Maybe you're... Maybe you're too shy. You gotta let yourself be open to conversations in order for something to happen. Now you're just attacking yourself for no reason. Of course you're dateable. Why? Because you're goofy. And you're shy. There is nothing more preciously adorable than a shy boy. What do you mean no one wants a shy boy? Plenty of girls like that. I mean, sure, it's nice also when the guy is confident and assertive and can lead you through everything. You get to just, like, go along for the ride. But you know, there really is something special about when you get a shy boy alone. It's so easy to get them embarrassed and red in the face. You don't get embarrassed easily. Are you sure? That's not how I remember you being... Hmm. What if I were to take your chin in my hand like this and slowly leaned in and got really close? <laughs> See? What girl wouldn't love that? Lean in for a kiss, and you're red as a beet. Honestly, when we were still in high school, that's why me and my friends would just gush over you so often. Yeah, we did. Like, everything you did was just so innocent and sweet. Like, if you learned something super cool in one of those fancy classes you were taking, you would just run up to us, wide-eyed, ears pricked up, and talking so fast he could barely understand you. And you would just go crazy. You were just so excited to share with someone. You know, even if you weren't excited about something, you still found some way to talk to us. 
He usually is sitting with us at lunch. You didn't have other friends. No, you did. I know you did. You just didn't really have time to spend with me and my friends. Other than lunch. I know you just wanted to be close to us. Especially liked being close to me. <laughs> Remember, you insisted on sitting next to me, no matter where we were. Makes me wonder. I wonder if you had a crush on one of us. You did? OMG! Tell me. Not telling? Come on. It was so long ago. It's not like it matters anymore. You won't see any of them again. Not necessarily? Ooh. Who do you still talk to? Still not telling. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my secret weapon. Still not gonna tell me even if I start scratching your ears like this? Oh yeah, I still remember that spot you like. Every time you crawled into bed with me, you'd always ask me to scratch you right here. You'd melt in my arms instantly. Just like you are right now. No matter how scared you are. A few scratches, and you were out like a light and purring the whole time. Now, who is it you had a crush on? Hmm? Your face is getting hot. Ooh. It's me, isn't it? Do you still feel those butterfly tingly feelings? Oh, you've been crushing on me this whole time, and you never got the nerve to ask. Why? I thought I flirted enough with you to let you know I wanted you too. Yes, I did. Hey, no, get back here. You're not going anywhere until we talk this out. Please, look at me. We both know we like each other now. What do you mean, this is scary? You've never dated? Are you serious? An absolute sweetheart Neko like you has never gotten on a date with anyone. That's such a shame. Well, I think we could change that right now. You busy later? Great. Swing by around 8. I'll take you out for dinner. Don't be late.
Hey, you made it. Aww. And you dressed up for me. You look super cute in that shirt. Anyway, do you want to drive or should I? Either or works fine for me. Hmm. On second thought, no. You won't drive. I'll be the one to drive you. There's a place in my mind. I think we should go. So, are you excited? We'll call it that. Don't tell me you're nervous. You know, normally I'd tell you something like, It's okay. You don't have to be nervous. I'm right here with you. Blah, 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 blah. But I think that'd be a bit too hypocritical of me, because I'm feeling pretty nervous too. I am. I remember you as a shy, goofy little Neko. That is so pure and excitable. And now, look at you. You've grown up. And... and... That's sort of intimidating. You're laughing, but I'm serious. I know you think of me as this extroverted girl who is confident about everything she does. But the truth of the matter is, I get nervous, just like everyone else. I'm just a little bit better at hiding it than you are, which isn't a bad thing, just means that I have a little more experience than you do. How about this? Let's try to drop any expectations we have about ourselves, each other. And just focus on what tonight is supposed to be about. Just two friends who discovered they feel a little more about each other. And at the end of the day, we're both going to eat delicious food. So it's not going to be a total loss. No matter what happens, you know? Hmm? It's not just me you're anxious about. What else is there? Oh yeah, the noise. <laughs> How to deal with that? I could sit next to you if you'd like. This way you'd be able to have your own little corner to yourself. Would that help? Okay, we can do that. Also, it means that we could hold hands. Oh, I know. How scandalous of me to mention. Hand holding. On the very first date. Gotta wait until marriage. Until I can even suggest such a thing. I'm kidding. Remember, loosen up. Take deep breaths. It's still only me, okay? Alright. Now that we both are feeling a bit calmer, it's time for me to start teasing you till your face explodes from embarrassment. <sighs> I promise I won't. Well... I can't promise that. Because... You do look really cute in that shirt. Oh, you think I'm pretty? And you like my shirt. Thanks, hon. I did try to look a little bit more presentable tonight. Hmm? Where are we going? Oh, there's this cool little restaurant that I found downtown. That I think you like. It does get pretty busy, especially around this time. But it shouldn't be that long of a wait. Oh, and what are you thinking about getting? 
What's the menu like? Oh, pretty standard stuff. Club sandwiches, burgers, salads. I think they even make ribs, though I haven't tried them yet. Hey now, don't think about me when you're ordering. Just get what you want. If it's something messy, then so be it. Just be careful not to spill it all over yourself. Well, anyway, you don't have to decide right now. It'll probably be easier to choose when you have a menu in front of you. Though, it might be even harder because they have so many good options to choose from. What? Oh, don't worry about paying for anything. I was the one who invited you. I'm okay with paying. Just don't go too crazy, alright? Well, we're here. Now, it'll probably be a little busy, a little loud, but I'm right beside you, okay? You want to hold my hand, like for comfort or for coffee reasons. <laughs> I thought it'd be both. Well, who am I to say no? Hey, table for two, please. Hey, you feeling okay? You're squeezing my hand pretty tight. Are you really fine? You know, if... If this is too overwhelming, we can get our food to go and sit in my car and eat. You want to stay? Just remember that it's always on the table that we can leave. I'd rather you feel comfortable and safe than force you to do something you don't want to. Well, here's our table. You sit there and let's order our food and drinks. So, what do you want to drink? Nothing alcoholic. I know you're feeling a little antsy, but... I don't want you getting drunk on our first date. Especially since I can't join you. Responsible driving and all that. This look great. You should share me some of your steak. That'll be fine, right? Don't be selfish now, kitty. Hey, you doing okay? You look really tense. Of course, you can tell me anything. What's up, Buttercup? You want to leave? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Do you think you can stay until we find the waiter again, or do you want to go outside now and I'll meet you in the car? No, no. You're fine. I completely understand. Now that I think of it, this might not have been the best place to take you. I'm sorry about that. Let me get up and let you out and I'll ask for our food to be packed up we can eat in my place
Hey, got our food. Yours is on top, and... Hey, you're looking a little sad. Are you feeling okay? What are you apologizing for? Honestly, I'm the one that needs to be apologizing to you. I knew that you've had problems with anxiety way back in high school. And I took you to a loud, overwhelming place for a first date, which was a huge oversight on my part. I'm... I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Kitty, I mean it. You don't have to say you're sorry that you needed us to leave. I'm not mad or upset or anything. Just a little worried about you. Now, here, keep yourself comfortable. I'll take you home. Brand new original ending is available in my coffee. You can download it there and enjoy an ad-free listening experience. Please keep your eyes peeled in this end screen too, as I have another older sister video coming up next.